Hi, this is Joe Kwan, the Connection Counselor, and thank you for joining us again for the Five Star Facilitation Series, where we put the fun back in facilitation. In our previous episode, we talked about how you can aim to captivate the crowd. A is in asking great questions, I is in imagination, and M, memory. And using those three aspects to really draw the audience in and keep them connected to your presentation. Today, we're gonna to talk about the crucial beginning of the conversation and how to open with a bang, right? Because if you don't catch people in that first seven to 20 seconds, you will lose them pretty quickly. And it's very difficult to get them back uh, after that. So what can you do to ensure that you really get people's attention? Now, think about when you enter uh, either a virtual presentation or a physical presentation. What's typically going on with the audience, right? People are distracted or, or they're talking to a friend or they're grabbing some coffee. They are not really ready or um, engaged with the presenter yet, right? So the presenter always has to corral people and, and, and they have to you know, the facilitation part is a little bit like herding cats, right? You just gotta like get everyone lined up. And then you go to present and you go to facilitate and you start out with the same canned response. You know, this is who I am, blah, 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 blah. People are still ignoring, 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 right? So that is not the ideal way to start a presentation. Ideally, you want to get their energy shifted from their default, which is ignoring you, to, wow, what's, what's this person going to say? What's this guy or gal going to say? This is something else, right? So how do you do that? How do you do that? You don't blow a whistle, right? We're, we're not in elementary school. You don't yell at people. But how do you do that from a facilitation standpoint? So I'm going to share with you today two techniques which can really help you grab people's attention so you can take them through the presentation with their full attention engaged from the very start. The first I like to call the jab, right? If you think about boxing, what happens when uh, you get jabbed, right? Your head snaps back, right? It's like, whoa, right? It's not super powerful, but it's, it's sort of, you know, it has some force behind it and you get knocked back and you get knocked off balance, right? So it's the same thing when you're facilitating. People are totally on balance. They're just doing what they wanna do and they almost need something to wake them up, right? You're not actually gonna hit them verbally or, or insult them, but from um, an auditory and, and like an emotional standpoint, they need to be woken up and pay attention, right? So what can you do? You can do that by saying something, one that's totally surprising, right? You can say, okay, I'm gonna share with you today something that helped me retire at age 30, or I'm gonna tell you the story of, you know, how I, you know, almost died one night, like out on the Atlantic sailing, but was rescued by uh, a sea full of dolphins or something like that. Something that really captures people's imagination. So when you do that, and you've probably seen people do this in, in more of, um, I would say more of a forced, kind of way where like one common way people will say like, oh, I have a confession to make, right? So that's very effective because people are like, oh my gosh, someone's going to confess something. But the thing about that is you want to come with your own sort of natural uh, surprise, your own natural jab. You don't want to imitate the words of someone else. So if you really do have a confession, uh, go for it. Uh, but certainly don't just repeat what other people say if it doesn't really fit into your message and into your audience. The second thing you can do besides the jab is uh, what I like to call mystery, right? Technically, it's called an open loop where you start something and you leave it open and you don't finish it. And what happens when someone starts to tell you something and they don't quite finish? What if I told you that the most important thing that you're gonna to learn today is 
right? It drives you crazy. You need to hear the completion of the sentence. So that's what an open loop does in terms of the presentation. So you can start something, and they do this a lot in movies, right? Where they, where they sort of promise you something and then they cut to a different scene. And, and in the back of your mind, you, you may think you've forgotten, but really your mind is really wanting for that completion to find out what's going on. So you could say something, and this is just an example, you know, make it for yourself. You could say something like, you know, today, um, you know, by the end of this presentation, you're gonna know everything you need to know to, I don't know, um, figure out who the real friends are in your organization and how to deal with people who are not, right? And then you go into your presentation. So now people have that open loop. They have that mystery like, okay, you know, when are these parts gonna come up? And it, and it really sort of has them from the get-go thinking about, wow, this is something I really want to learn about. So remember, if you want to start off your presentation, if you want to open with a bang, you need to get people off balance. And two ways you can do that is by the jab, right? By surprising them with something or by the open loop, which is more of a pulling in, right? They like kind of the edge of the seat where they move towards you. So if you do both of these things, you will have a better result in your opening and your facilitation will go much more smoothly. My name is Joe Kwan, the Connection Counselor. Remember, you can change your life one connection at a time. Thank you.